And I look at this battle against age like a boxer. And you think that a lot of times you're down and you can't be beat, but you figure you can't let people down and it gives you the energy to fight on. That's what is taken and that's what's gonna defeat AIDS in general. I firmly believe that the scientific world of the world, and especially in this country, will come with a cure for AIDS. Because of his fight and his energy, I was able to dedicate myself also to the same fight to uh, eradicate this disease. Well, you know, he's a very popular persona. I mean, you know, people love him. Dr. Rios is the uh, standard bearer of that compassion. If we cure AIDS, if we develop a preventative vaccine, but we don't eliminate the discrimination factors that are so well known to us, then all that effort will mean nothing and AIDS will won. Medicine is the science of treating disease or preserving health. It is because of medicine that you and I are here today. I'm Fernando Perez del Rio, and welcome to Revelations, Hispanics in Medicine. Today, we'll look at some of the historical contributions made by Hispanics in medicine. We'll visit with Dr. Adan Rios, a legendary physician known for his fight against HIV and AIDS. We'll give you information about miraculous new surgeries, and you'll find out about Viagra, the new wonder drug. All of this and much more when we return. Syncope, or fainting, is a state of loss of consciousness followed by spontaneous recovery. A patient may black out because of reduced blood flow from the heart to the brain. This reduction in cardiac output, which can occur at rest or with exercise, may be related to cardiac irregularities or diseases of the heart valves. An electrocardiogram should always be performed on a patient who faints. An ultrasound of the heart is also needed to determine if there is narrowing of the heart valves. Although diseases of the heart valves may occur at all ages, patients with disturbances of the heart rhythm tend to be older and usually have little or no warning before fainting. I'm Dr. Jonas Garcia. If you or someone you know has been a victim of a fainting episode, please contact your physician as promptly as possible. This could be a lifesaver. B5. Finally retired and looking for the good life? Have you seen the luxurious Pleasant Hill Village? I really like this one. The here at the village. The here at the village. Pleasant Hill Village. It's an experience. B99. I was very satisfied with Dale and they were clean, dependable, very reliable, and always on time. The work that Dale has done for me has all been Class A. I've recommended Dale and to all my friends and they've all been very happy. I really love the job that Dale and Remodeling did. They did sinks, countertops, floors, cabinets, cooktops, microwave, wet bar, and all the other appliances. Took the island and rounded the edges, which makes it a lot safer for my six-year-old. I really love the job they did. Dale and Remodeling, 281-847-2120. Hepatitis C is known as a silent killer. I'm Waylon Jennings. Currently, an estimated 15 million Americans may be infected with this dreaded disease, and in most cases, by no fault of their own. If you've had a blood product, a transfusion, dental work, or a surgical procedure, you may be at risk. This disease destroys your liver and causes death. Please contact the Hep C Hope Foundation, because we all need hope. I've been working with uh, children with uh, special needs in general for about uh, 18, 20 years. 
I've been working specifically with children with Downs for about uh, 17, 18 years also. The Down Syndrome Association of Houston is very excited about what Alvin is doing. Uh, we feel that there's a lot of positive benefits, not only for uh, kids David and Ezra's age, but the younger kids also. You see that? Right there, that one right there. Yeah, right here. Just a little bit. Working, working with children and individuals, just individuals in general with Down syndrome and art uh, has been very, very therapeutic. Uh, not only for, for them, but for me as well. We're excited that someone has taken the uh, time to come up with this type of a program, something that's very, very badly needed in Houston.